One of the great aspects of this job code is its provision for bringing your dependents to the UK. If you're currently residing in the UK on a student visa and contemplating switching to a different visa category, this job code offers you the opportunity to make that switch along with your family, which is definitely something worth considering. Hey everyone, welcome back to This Life on Ease channel. Whether you're a returning viewer or joining us for the first time, I'm thrilled to have you as part of our wonderful family. On this channel, I share valuable content about migrating to the UK, including jobs with visa sponsorship, updates on UK immigration, and everything else related to the UK. So if you're someone who's always interested in such content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This way, you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for being here. All right, let's dive right into today's fantastic news. As we're all aware, there have been numerous changes in visa regulations, and many people are seeking options that allow dependents to migrate with them. I'm excited to announce that the UK has opened its doors for babysitters to embark on a journey to settlement with dependents on a skilled worker visa. In this video, we'll delve deep into this specific job code, Please do like and share this video with your friends and loved ones so that they can explore this opportunity as well. What's great about this job code is that it enables you to bring your dependents to the UK. If you're currently in the UK on a student visa and considering switching to another visa category, this job code allows you to do so with your family, which is definitely something to consider. If you have a wife, she can apply for the babysitting job with visa sponsorship, and once she obtains the visa, dependents can also apply to join her. This opens up a wonderful opportunity for families looking to migrate together. As you can see on my screen, the UK has opened its doors for babysitters to embark on a journey to settlement with dependents on a skilled worker visa. Now let me explain what the skilled worker visa entails. After spending five years on it, you become eligible to apply for settlement. Effective from April 2024, babysitters now qualify for the skilled worker visa, recognizing the essential service they provide to families' daily lives and their significant contributions to the economy. The integration of babysitters into the Occupation Code reflects the UK's strategy to address the pressing shortage of childcare workers. This change not only enhances the family support system, but also strengthens the workforce with dedicated caregivers. Moreover, it allows babysitters to bring their dependents to the UK, with dependent partners permitted to work or start their own businesses. As we all know, if you're on a dependent visa, you can also establish your own company, fostering a comprehensive immigration approach that benefits the entire family unit. This is indeed wonderful news for my lovely viewers. I'll also show you the Certificate of Sponsorship, QoS, and the job description on the COS, so you can update your CVs and start seeking babysitting jobs that will enable you and your dependents to migrate to the UK. The revised occupation code signifies a revamp of immigration rules, transitioning from 6,122 to 6,114. Let's seize this opportunity together. This update now includes babysitters alongside childminders, mothers' helpers, and NMs, offering a wide range of opportunities for those interested in childcare professions. It's definitely worth considering code 6114 for anyone exploring career options in this field. I've known about this for some time, but I wanted to wait until I saw someone receive a COS, Certificate of Sponsorship, in this current financial year for code 6114 before filming a video. Now, as you can see on my screen, childminders encompass four job roles. Babysitter, childminder, mother's helper, and NM. The salary threshold is £39,900 or £11.88 per hour, or £23,200 at £11.90 per hour. Let's take a look at the job description as shown on the COS. You should start actively searching for jobs now. Many companies don't explicitly mention visa sponsorship in their job listings. Once you find a company recruiting for this job code, check if they're on the register of licensed sponsors. If they are, go ahead and send in your application. However, if you come across a job advert for childminders or babysitters, and the company advertising the role isn't on the register of licensed sponsors, it's best not to apply. They won't be able to sponsor you. Interestingly, even if a company hasn't explicitly stated that visa sponsorship is available, some of them are open to it. I spoke to two organizations and they mentioned that they refrain from mentioning visa sponsorship in job adverts to avoid being inundated with applications. So keep an eye out for opportunities and apply wisely. 
As you can see on my screen, the job description for code 6114 for childminders and babysitters includes various responsibilities. They make up bottles for feeds, plan and serve meals, supervise children during meals, and participate in indoor and outdoor activities to promote their development. They also take children to playgroups or outings, maintain records of children's development, ensure their safety at all times, organize recreational activities, manage bedtime routines, and maintain a clean environment. The migrants will be working for 37.5 hours per week, and the salary on the COS is 38,700 pounds, which exceeds the required threshold. For my viewer who received the COS, it's essentially a green light to apply for the visa. However, keep in mind that when applying for the visa, you'll need to pay the Immigration Skills Charge ISC, for both yourself and your dependents. With code 6114, you can bring your dependents along, so it's essential to consider this option. It's worth noting that while many are focusing on code 6131, auxiliary nurses, there are other viable options like code 6114. I'll provide an update on code 6131 once viewers who have applied receive their COS. Many of you have been asking about COS allocations by the UK Home Office and I'll keep you posted on any developments in that regard. In my next video, I'll provide an update on the issuance of COS and which companies are currently receiving them from the Home Office. But I want to emphasize that code 6114 is available for you. As you can see from the job description, it's quite similar to care worker roles. So start actively looking for jobs now. Visit websites like GovUK Jobs Indeed and other job portals. When you find a job listing under this code, check if the company is on the register of licensed sponsors. Even if they have an explicitly mentioned visa sponsorship, go ahead and apply. Many companies are hesitant to advertise visa sponsorship because of the current situation. They're aware that many migrants are in the UK, some having lost sponsorship and are seeking new sponsors, so employers are a bit overwhelmed and hesitant to openly advertise roles with visa sponsorship. However, there have been instances where people received their COS even from jobs that didn't mention visa sponsorship, so don't let that deter you from applying. Keep searching and applying wisely. I'll definitely keep sharing any jobs I come across under these codes that allow you to bring your dependents to the UK. In the meantime, it's essential for you to conduct your own independent research and ensure your CV is updated according to the specific requirements of these roles. Keep in mind that some companies may use different wording in their job adverts. Always ensure that your CV aligns with the job description they've provided to increase your chances of success. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload new content. Until next time, take care and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.